Many people say children learn best through trial and error. In the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, Discovery Center, a social enterprise has developed different ways to make science, math, innovation, and technology exciting and interactive. VOA's Paul Ndiho has more. It's been said that being passionate about your work is a key to success. Daniel Gichuki Mohoro is no exception. We make science and technology fun for children of all ages. Our mission is to star innovation. Mohoro's passion triggered him to start a discovery center where children are inspired to develop an interest in science. Children's innovation and inquisitive nature needs to be nurtured so that when they get to preteen, they are still inquisitive. Mohoro has turned his love for engineering into a business. How has this program changed some of their lives? For the sciences, is 6 to 18, so we split 6 to 13. At the coding club, you know, we introduce children from 6 years to all the way to 20 years to computer programming. And we literally start from scratch, pun intended, because we use scratch software uh, designed by MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Then we take them to a place where we can now win them off scratch and start them on a proper high-level uh, programming language. Very many parents have told me their children have eased off playing on the phone. They want to create their own games. Discovery Center is now part of a new infrastructure for children to develop their technology skills. For example, here is a demonstration about sound propagation. Oh, th this is a focal point. This voice is reflected this way. We call them the whispering dishes. Put your ear to the circle and the other person speak, but in your faintest whisper. This warehouse is now a creative hub for innovation. As Kenya becomes more connected to the internet, young people are finding new ways to hone their skills and learning how to code to become computer programmers. Like any startup company, Discovery Center is not without its challenges. Critics say that getting these programs rolled out in rural areas has been a slow process. But Daniel Muhoro is hopeful that working with schools and organizing science fairs and projects will eventually pay off. We know that they are keeping track of how innovation is going on in this country. And if we really want to make an impact, we want to work with them. We collaborate with the Ministry of Education and the Kenya Innovation Agency uh, really helped us, you know, get to join the the science center body in uh, Southern Africa. It's called SASTEC. And in fact, they facilitated um, our involvement in last year's Science Center World Summit in Tokyo, Japan. He says the program has the potential to be replicated across the country. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.